This video is brought to you by SoccerPro.com, bringing you everyday low prices with no membership fees. Be sure to use coupon code SR4U at checkout to get $10 off any order of $100 or more. Hey guys, Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com, bringing you an unboxing plus on-feet video of the Nike FC 247 Elastico Finale 2 in the latest black, neo lime, and white colorway. Inside the box, all you get are the shoes themselves. They do not come with any extras, so I'll get the shoes out of the box really quickly. And if you guys could take a second to leave a like on the video, it would be greatly appreciated. So here is a look at the latest colorway of the Elastico Finale 2. Before we get into looking at the shoes any more closely, um, I wanted to ask you guys a question because I am planning to do some indoor playtest videos. Which indoor shoe would you like to see a playtest of first? I know that the Elastico Finale 2 is going to be pretty high up on that list as well as the Lunar Gato 2. So if it's either of those two models that you'd like to see or any other indoor model, just leave a comment down below and let me know. And like I said, I will be working on these indoor playtest videos hopefully over the next two weeks. So expect to see those very, very soon. Now, as far as this colorway goes, I think that this is my personal favorite colorway of the Nike Indoor Series, period. I know I said that about the latest colorway of the Lunar Gato 2, that like tan color. I really like that one, but I think I personally prefer this just because it features pretty much a black base with a very, very unique detail. It has that kind of recycled material look where there's lots of speckling going on. There's some orange, some green, some gray, some blue purple, pink, just lots and lots of different colors. And it gives the shoe just a very unique detail. And this also kind of makes me wonder, this is a Nike skin upper, exactly like what we see on the Hypervenom Phantom. Is Nike going to implement some kind of a colorway like this? on the Hypervenom Phantom um, for future colorway releases. Very curious to see what they're gonna do. Cause to me personally, I think that this look is very, very unique and just very attractive overall. So like I said, you have a predominantly black base for the shoe. You have a black upper, black laces, tongue, heel liner, um, as well as kind of the base for the Nike swoosh color itself. You're gonna find Neo Lime as your main accent color, which you're gonna find in the Nike skin branding right there. Your Nike swoosh on the tongue. The insole, of course, is Neo Lime, and then, of course, the Nike swoosh with this kind of funky, I guess, cheetah print pattern. I'm not sure exactly what it would be, um, but that is in Neo Lime, and it looks very, very good. The Nike swoosh itself is outlined in a metallic silver, which, again, is a very cool accent color, and you really can see that it is metallic. It even has a nice sparkle to it. And then the midsole, as you can see, is a combination of white and like a slightly translucent with a green tinge color. Um, it looks like it would be glow in the dark. I did test it out almost immediately, and unfortunately it doesn't actually glow in the dark. Um, and the white itself on the outsole isn't a straight white. Again, it has that specks, those specks of color, similar to the recycled material look you're gonna find on the upper itself. Now, as far as the performance goes, if you guys would like more detailed information on that, be sure to check out the full written review on my website, which you can find linked down below in the description, soccerreviewsforyou.com. Just to do some quick um, kind of tech specs and overview on the shoe itself, the upper is made predominantly from Nike skin, um, which is great. The quality is fantastic. It's pretty much identical to what you're gonna find as the upper material for the Hyper Venom Phantom. Same construction, pretty much the exact same feel. The fit is a little bit different. As you can see, it does have a central lacing system. But for the most part, the quality and feel is exactly the same as that top end Phantom model. And you can pick this up for around $100 or so, which is pretty good considering that the Phantom costs upwards of $200. So if you were interested in the Hyper Venom Phantom, you need a pair of indoor shoes. There isn't a better choice right now than and the Elastico Finale 2 if you just want to have that Nike skin experience which to me is absolutely worth having because it's such a unique and high quality material. Um, basically it's an ultra thin synthetic, very soft, has a sock like fit and also does have that ability to stretch. So overall it just works tremendously well for such a low profile cleat, a uh, low profile indoor shoe sorry, um, that is the Elastico Finale 2 and this really is if you're looking for a lightweight thin barefoot style of indoor soccer shoe the Elastico Finale 2 is the best model on the market, there's nothing that even comes close to it at this point in time. Of course, you do have that central lacing system, like I mentioned, a very low cut. So again, it's a very lightweight, kind of low profile style cleat. As far as cushioning go, there isn't much here. Really, all the cushioning that you're gonna get is from the, from the small amount of foam in the heel and midfoot, and of course, from the insole itself, which is fully removable, features a mesh base, as you can see, and then it's just one single layer of foam. Decent thickness to it, and it's a very kind of dense foam, similar to what we found on the Nike GS, and it does provide some decent step in comfort, but you can see that this thin foam right here is pretty much all the cushioning you're gonna get in the forefoot area of the shoe. 
for the most part, there is nothing there whatsoever other than the rubber outsole. So there's some extreme flexibility here. And like I said, it makes for a very natural feel when you are on an indoor court playing surface. But for the most part, if you're one of those people that likes to have a lot of underfoot cushioning, then the Elastico Finale 2 probably isn't the best choice for you. When it comes to traction, you're gonna have a combination of uh, kind of solid rubber and translucent rubber with two varying patterns. You're gonna have more of a herringbone style, traditional style um, traction pattern right here. It's a relatively, I don't wanna say it's a flexible rubber, it's kind of in between and it does provide some pretty good traction on um, indoor court plane surfaces providing that it's not overly dusty of course I wish they would have gone with one solid traction pattern that was this stuff as opposed to these little dots just because I feel it grips a little bit better but for the most part what you do get does perform pretty well on like I said moderately clean to moderately dusty plane uh, indoor plane surfaces um, as far as outdoor use if you do want to use this on concrete it definitely will wear a little bit more quickly than you might like so just keep that in mind this is really something that I would buy to strictly use on indoor or quartz if you do want to get the longest life out of them of course um, but that's pretty much it as far as all the tech specs and I'll move on next to a quick weigh-in so you can see how lightweight these guys are there aren't many indoor soccer shoes that I would personally consider to be lightweight but the Elastico Finale 2 is an exception to that rule as they are actually very very light so I'm going to weigh this pair for you today in real time keep in mind that this is a brand new pair in a size 9 US going to throw it on the scale and you can see that these guys weigh in at 7.1 ounces which is very lightweight for not only a soccer shoe but especially an indoor soccer shoe of course with that lightweight feel comes an extreme lack of cushioning mainly in the forefoot so again if you prefer to have a little bit more impact protection this probably isn't the best choice for you but if you like that barefoot close to the ground feel then definitely take a look at the Elastico Finale 2. All right, here's a look at the Elastico Finale 2s on feet. And from right out of the box, this is a very comfortable and very flexible shoe. You'll immediately notice how little padding you have under your feet, which makes for a very responsive feel, but again, isn't perhaps the most comfortable depending on your running style and movement style in general. In terms of the overall fit of the shoe, it definitely is a tighter fitting boot, but with that being said, it's not really a narrow cut shoe. So you're not really restricted if you do have slightly wider feet. This is one of those shoes that's gonna fit pretty much everybody very comfortably either from right out of the box or after a short break-in period because again the Nike Skin Synthetic Upper does have the ability to stretch and is very very natural feeling on feet. In terms of sizing I'm wearing my usual size 9 US here and the fit and the length is absolutely perfect so if you are thinking about ordering a pair for yourself I would strongly recommend going true to size. Alright guys that's it for my unboxing of the Elastico Finale 2. Overall, like I mentioned, this is an absolutely fantastic indoor shoe. If you are looking for something with a high quality barefoot feel, the Nike Skin Upper is not only comfortable, but offers a tremendous touch on the ball. And the low profile nature of the shoe, while it isn't for everybody, is definitely great if you're looking for a close to the ground, very responsive feel from your indoor soccer shoes. Now, if you guys are interested in getting some of these for yourself, be sure to check out the review page on my website, link down below in the description. On that review page, not only will you find the full written review that will give you more detail on the overall performance but you'll also find buy it now links with the best prices online including exclusive sr 4 u coupon codes to get yourself some additional discounts now if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment down below and i definitely will get an answer out to you if you enjoyed today's video be sure to support it with a like subscribe if you haven't already for daily videos on all the latest soccer gear you can find all of my social media information down below in the description as well and other than that guys hope you enjoyed today's video and as always thanks for watching